That's cute, man. That's too cute. What? You look very pretty. I'll take it. It's for now, but I can only flirt. So we're back, guys, with Five no, Nights at no. Flirting. If you guys haven't seen those previous episodes, there's a dedicated playlist. There's a lot of people coming into these and not knowing that I've did more or did, like, previous ones or whatever. I know I keep going on about it, but there's just people who haven't seen them and go into episodes like further episodes when they haven't seen the early ones so that's why i keep hammering on now all that's out of the way last time we checked out i believe it was um uh, chris really good episode actually there was a lot going on with him um yeah just some good stuff we learned there and his backstory was cool and what we found out about him in general before that we got with the one and only man behind the slaughter you guys absolutely love that one now there's only a couple of bachelors left oh and barbie I always seem to forget about Barbie. So we're gonna find our boy, Jeremy. See what he's up to. Learn all about him. Hey, um, I found this. I don't know what you can use it for, but... Uh, here. I hope it helps. You received tong da dong tong tongs Alright, we don't need those tongs, my friend, but... I'll take him regardless. Thank you very much for that. I'm sure we probably have his item that we need for the very end of him where we most likely see an animatronic or whatever the heck happens with him. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to really need to use those tongs. I believe initially we need to use them for something here. Yeah, there's nothing left inside. Yeah, we normally use the tongs to get something in there, but we've already got it. All right, I'm very excited to pursue this very shy and timid Man, so let's get over here. Jeremy! Yeah, okay, so we've had an episode with Mike where we flirted in the office, so now it's FNAF, but I kept flirting in the kitchen. But wait, you, you... You really want to spend the night with me? I'm not sure why, but I won't stop you. It's better than spending the night alone. Oh, Aww. now it makes me feel bad that I've never spent any time with him up until this episode. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry, I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm usually stationed by myself and... Um, I'm not good with people. Maybe next time you should pick someone else. You see, a child's toy magnify... A child's toy magnifying glass on the floor. Pick it up and work with it. Tell Jeremy he's doing his best. What do I do? Because depending on the better choice, as we've seen in all the past episodes, we actually get a picture. And if I choose the wrong one, we don't get a picture. And also, we may not be able to go full on romance with him if we mess up too much as well. Ah, uh, just tell him he's doing his best. Now I'm gonna go for the weird thing. I'm gonna pick up the toy, see what happens. You pick up the magnifying glass and as you do, you also steal Jeremy's hat. Oh, dang, okay. Getting all playful with him. All right, distracting him and all that. Okay, that's probably the best way to go. Ah, why would you? Wait, is that a magnifying glass? It looks almost like, exactly like the de Detective Conan's from Case Closed. Oh yeah, he's an anime boy! He's an anime boy! Oh yeah! Maybe while the night goes on, we can roleplay and pretend like we're the detectives from the show? Look at his face. <laughs> I, I mean, the place is haunted, and it's a big mystery surrounding the pizzeria. Dang! Though, maybe that's not such a good idea right now. The animatronics are running around, and as much as I'd love to RP, it's not safe. Well, shift some ways up. Better close up and get ready to head out for the night, huh? Okay. Oh, he's cute. He's actually really cute. Your first night has ended. Time to go home and sleep for the day. He's adorable. He loves anime and he wants to role play. He's cute. Laying in bed, you think about the events of the day. Jeremy is very odd, but timid, but a timid young man. A part of you hopes that he'll open up to you sooner rather than later. Dot, dot, dot. That's probably what we really need to try to do is get him to open up. Maybe playing all these games and playing Detective Conan and RPing might not make him open up and might not give us the romance ending that we are trying to get here, but we're gonna find out. All right, our boy. Let's see him. I, I accidentally dropped soup in the oven. I hope the chefs don't notice in the morning. Yeah, they'll probably notice, but do nothing about it. Soapy pizza for all. That's definitely the standard I know Freddy Fazbear's would do. They would not care about soapy pizza. They'll be still feeding that to kids. Okay, so he doesn't say much else. Right, so I'm going to double check Barbie's as we did in the first night to see his report because, yeah, with previous endings, with previous characters, checking their files do, like, actually help out with their roots. So let's see here. Uh, an old file? 
H32. Okay, this is Scott. Oh, no, this is far. Okay, Farmer Barbie. Never mind. Right, but what about Jeremy? This is my file. Very mysterious. Mike's file. Needing Jeremy's here. Okay, Fritz. Everyone but Jeremy right now. Never mind. Let's talk to Barbie regardless. I'm sorry, girl. I still need to amend what the heck we did to you on the first episode. We were new. We didn't know what we were doing. We were flirting it up. But we didn't know that we needed to save you at the same time. I'm sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Normally it's annoying waiting for these nights, but now I have a Tamagotchi. I can just play with this in between while I wait, so. It's not really that bad anymore. All right, finally though, our boy, Jeremy. Let's see him up. Let's make him open. And was that a ding dong of something being cooked here? He watches Jeremy slides on a glove and reaches in to pull out pizza. Oh, we're gonna be whining and holy heck and dining for real? I always mention it. But when I do, it hardly ever happens. But will this be the time where we whine and actually dine? Sure, it's over Freddy Fazbear's Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Whatever the quality may be, very, very terrible. But I'll take it, guys. Oh, dang it. Oh, our boy. Our little kitty anime boy. He got hurt by a stove. I can't do anything right. Oh, I can't even make a stupid pizza. Why do I even bother coming to... Uh, oh, yeah. That's why. Oh. Pull out some bandages you you prepared before before your shift. Given how dangerous the facility is. Th thanks, regrets. <sighs> I burned my hand on the stove trying to get the pizza out. For some reason, I feel like the gloves are just way too thin to actually reach inside and grab anything. Though they may switch up the gloves on us night guards to discourage us from eating the free pizza they have in here. Maybe, maybe. But oh well, not lucky eat much anyways. I wouldn't make you, but you should. But if you get sick, I can't see you. Oh, dang, he's got his finger in his mouth. He's getting all shy and flustered. He's adorable. Oh. Um, uh, I mean, I would love to still see you here. I don't want you to worry or anything. It's just, mm, I'm not all that hungry, you know? I'll give this pizza to Fritz. I know he really likes pizza. And it won't go to waste unless you want it. I mean, if you really want to share or, uh, hey, um, what? you look very pretty. I'll take it. Uh, 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 would you like me to walk you home? Yes. Yes, I would. Jeremy, the poor kid just seems so sad all the time. Da da da. Tomorrow is another day. All right, maybe we'll find out more about him. Finally finding that file, maybe? Like his report card. Let's find out. Oh yeah, before all that though. Creepy girl that always appears. All right, Jeremy, where are your file at? This Barbie's file. Okay, Barbie's. Jeremy, okay. Age 19, five foot five, weight 130. You may have read his file in a previous uh, video, but now we're actually pursuing him. It's way more important right now. 130 pounds. Background, has some issues if the bruises say anything. Good kid, expect to keep him around as long as possible. Night shift, okay, I actually remember that one. I think we may have even saw it in the last video. The Scots file, right, so he's likely got some abuse at home being had, for sure. Our poor boy, our wholesome little cinnamon. Ugh, now, Mike came in here and grabbed something, snickering to himself. I'm sure it's gotta be another lame joke. Okay, he's not saying much there. I'm guessing we just gotta wait until we get to personally whine and dine even more. What's this? There's a small hole in the box. You open it up and... You found some antidepressant meds. Oh, now Mike came in here and grabbed something sticking to himself. I'm sure it's gonna be another limb too. Is that what he left around? I shouldn't be grabbing that. That is very personal. That may likely give us the good end then. Whoever left them there, or even if it was just generally his and he put them aside in a box, that will likely give us the good end. I don't know, I could be wrong, but it always seems like we get a specific item as of late anyway like last time we got the whole red wedding ring thing to do with chris and his friend and then the purple guy was i don't actually remember what his iron was <laughs> anyway his or not or whatever it may be we got them and it may likely lead to the better ending here's hoping i'm always it's always midnight i should decide whom i'm spending the night with our boy our wholesome cinnamon jeremy i want to see him up he's too adorable man i want to help him out especially learning more about him you know it's like like, it's bad troubles at home and whatnot. Just got to finish grabbing the rest of my... That regrets? Is that you? Does that mean you just pick pick me for the night? But why? I'm, I'm not very... I mean, I'm not brave and... 
I'm not the best of my job. Heck, I'm not even sure I'm suited to help you out all the way. Uh, I gotta get you to safety. Come on, to the security room. Okay. We're in the office room right now. We were flooring it all up in the kitchen, but we're doing a bit of flooring in the office yet again. Ugh, I hate this job. Did you see the way he spread it around? Sonic speed? I can't do it anymore. The only reason I stare is because of my dad. Oh, it's better here than there. At least when the animatronics beat me, it's because they're stupid robots. Oh. That's terrible, man. I I'm so sorry. Regrets. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm done. At this rate, it just I'd just rather be... Just rather the animatronics kill me. I don't want to be alive anymore. I want to die. Being alive, it just... It hurts so much, you know? No matter where I'm at, something always wants to hurt me. Or kill me. At least if I'm dead, I wouldn't have to feel this pain anymore. I wouldn't have to worry about my stupid dad. Or whatever I'm going to. Jeremy sobs into your shoulders for quite a while. Please don't let go of regrets. If you do, I don't... I don't know what I might do to myself. Please just hold me for a while longer. Just until the pain stops. That's crazy, man. I feel so... Oh my god. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me regrets. I can't help it sometimes. I found out what animatronic needs to be fixed. It's Chica. Oh, he does have a designated animatronic. Oh, right. I thought with this route he wouldn't have one, but he does. If you could patch her up, then I think we might stand a chance of ending this nightmare for good. Please, help me one last time. Oh, I'll be here for you, man, as always. Like, I'll help you many more times than this once. Time to go home? Did I really cry the whole time? I'm sorry. The rest of my week will be spent with Jeremy. I only hope that we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. Yeah, say, I, I really do want to figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. R regrets? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have you catch me crying like this. It's, it's just... I have so severe depression. And sometimes it gets to me. A lot of times harder than most. It's usually when I think about losing something I really care about or when I hear something similar to a voice in my head telling me I'm not worth it. I try to fight it, I really do, but those words are so hard to fight alone. Embrace, reassure. What do I do? Embrace him or reassure him? Embrace? That's cute, man. That's too cute. That's too cute. What is this game? It's incredible. That's what it is. It's been amazing all the way through. It really has. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, every time I think of something bad happening to my, to, to you, my stomach flips. I, I can't breathe and I just start sobbing. You're very important to me. I don't want to lose you. I want to become stronger, a stronger person. Not just for you, but for me. I want to be strong for both of us, but it's so hard. Sometimes it's so hard I can't even get up in the morning. But when I take my medicine, it doesn't always help. Oh dang, so he has been taking medicine. But we collected more. So presenting him with more, he may not care then. Because he's already taken it. So I don't know what the point of us actually getting medicine was then. I don't know. Sometimes it gives me the strength to actually carry out actions I wouldn't normally have the will to do. I want to get better. I just need to figure out how. It's alright, bud. Where are you, man? Jeremy seems exhausted. You walk him home before heading home yourself. Huh. We had two options there. So I really want to save it differently. Depending on that ending we get. When you enter the room, the atmosphere already seems vastly different. Germany is leaned over the desk, hands planted firmly on either side of his keyboard. He's searching for any trace of the animatronics as he turns to you. His smiles, smile seems genuine and kind. Well, that's alright then. I feel much better today. Thank you so much, regrets. Thanks for everything yesterday. Perhaps all I needed was someone to notice me. Someone to take the time to help me out on my slump. Uh, I'm just glad that person was you. You smile back at him and nod. Well, this is it. Let's fix the animatronic. Right, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be romancing it up here. It seems all pretty friendly thus far. I can't really tell because we still have the meds, right? We do. Antidepressant meds. So we haven't used them. Maybe we use them while uh 
we see Chica? I don't know, but the key's always here. So we're getting the night watch key. That's completely fine. And yep, as always, we go through here. Wow, just like a detective. Amazing. Yeah, I am. Detective Conan, by the way. Not as young looking, but you know. You, you, you came. came. I, I hope, hope I hoped, hoped you would. Who is this now then? How does this relate to Jeremy? I don't know. You, you remind, remind me of a person, person I knew so, so long ago. ago. Maybe this person was a friend to Jeremy. He used to help me out when I needed it. I was always so sad, but now? Hmm. Hi. I've been, I've been waiting for you to come here. To come and set me free. I'm so happy that I'll finally get to rest. The child turns towards Jeremy a moment before turning back. I... I remember having a close friend. He was a lot like you, Regrets. He was so strong. And he always took care of me when I felt bad. I got sick a lot, and I needed medicine. I hated taking it. Maybe the medicine's the antidepressants. One day we got into a fight about it. I didn't want to take it and he stormed off. I sort of ran after him, but I yelled back, telling him to go off to, to Pirate's Cove and hide away like he always does. I never got to see him again. Looking back on it, I know he only did it because he cared a lot about me. Just like you care about Jeremy. Okay, so this person didn't know Jeremy. I thought he was initially talking about Jeremy, but no. I, I, I wanted to get better. If I can't be happy for myself, I can never hope to make regrets happy. If I want to love someone, I have to learn to love myself. I wish, wish I would have thought, thought that way. way. The child looks at the feather in your hand. It's, it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm ready, ready to, to go. go. I'm, I'm ready, ready to sleep. sleep. Give me one last look at the child. You place the missing chunk of feathers onto Chica before backing away. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Right. <laughs> hey, that tickles. You chuckle as you nuzzle him again. We better head off, or we're going to be late. I don't want to miss my therapist appointment. Oh, dang, this may be the romance ending. I mean, it's all lovey-dovey right now. If it is, this is way too adorable, and it looks like he's getting the help he needs, you know? He's seeking out, like, therapists and whatnot, as I was saying here. I feel like I've been doing so much better since I've been going. And afterwards, maybe we can go out on a, you know, date. You smile at the proposition and nod in agreement. It sounded like a great idea. As Jeremy threw on his jacket, he stopped and looked over your shoulder at the bottle of medicine on the table. You've come a long way from the horrors of the pizzeria a mere few months ago. Perhaps in time, those wouldn't be the only nightmares he could move past. Congrats, you backed yourself a security man. You got the happy ending you deserve. Be sure to check out the other routes if you can figure them out. See you next time. Was that the romance ending with him? It must be. That must have been the romance ending. We can double check by seeing if we actually have his memory. Yeah, we got it. Memory of Jeremy. That was obviously the romance ending for him. That was the best possible outcome. That was so adorable, man. Oh, that was a really nice route there. Before we end it off though, I do want to check up on one choice we didn't check out. Okay, so I really wanted to find out instead of us embracing him, just to reassure him. It probably won't lead to anything better than the whole embracing thing, but let's find out. I, I know regrets. It's just really hard to... You pat his back as he sobs it's, it's sobs carry throughout the night, not stopping until morning. You think the animatronics may have pitied him tonight. Okay, I don't think that's going to change our ending, though. Germany seems exhausted to walk him home before heading home yourself. Yeah, I don't think that's going to change the ending, but I'm going to double check anyway. Nope, it ended up exactly the same! Anyway though guys, that was Jeremy and his route. He's absolutely wholesome and I'm really glad we got with him in today's video. That was like a real like emotional route there. It really was. I really felt bad for him. But yeah, we made things better. We got with him. He was able to seek help, all that good stuff. I'm not entirely sure, confused about a couple of things. If we needed those medicine, uh, needed that medicine that we picked up and if we even used it during that route once we picked it up. I actually have no idea. I, I really don't. Either way, maybe it's used for a different route if we didn't use it. I don't know. But for now, let me know who we should pursue next time. We still have Barbie, by the way. Because again, that first episode and what happened to her.